Uh, really unbelievable. This is, I, I guess, I've never seen quite, anything quite like this. Ever, um, in my life. This, this is incredible. Is, this is incredible. We've seen amazing things. I mean, we've been in uh, Shanghai, Korea, Berlin, London, Brazil. Yes, very good. Back to New York. Yeah. We're on our way to Toronto. In the LA, San Diego. I mean, it's been it's incredible nuts. because the, the, I guess the expectation and enthusiasm for the movie is so infectious and we are so proud of the movie and just can't wait for the fan. I can't wait for fans to see it. It's incredible. You know, the thing I'm most excited about is, you know, it's been ours. It's felt like this small, tiny, intimate thing we've had between, you know, the cast of, and the crew of this film. And it's incredible to think about sharing it tonight with all these people and to like feel the joy in the cinema. I'm so excited to watch it with people. This film is meant to be shared. It's meant to be experienced with friends among strangers and, you know, give everyone a sense of joy and unity. Yeah, it's been incredible. I, you know, I didn't grow up with Marvel films and I, it's, I really feel like I've missed out on something because the fan community is so beautiful and so widespread. And there are people who've grown up with these films and who also find them as adults as I have. And it's amazing because they can mean such different things to you at every point in your life. And they're stories that really stand the test of time and constantly inspire and provide entertainment. It's an amazing thing. I'm honestly, I can't believe I'm here right now. It's really, it's insane. It's crazy. I walked on and it's, now I'm realizing I'm in Deadpool. It's crazy. Um, I'm really excited. I'm excited to like see Hugh and see Ryan and I've just seen Emma. I'm just, I'm excited to celebrate with everyone. It's, yeah, it's really fun. It has, it's, it's really impressive how Ryan and Sean have created this kind of, this humanity and this undertone of real, probably like gravitas and, and a human story and kind of managed to bedazzle it with the comedy that is Deadpool and with the fun that's Deadpool and they've managed to marry those two very different genres that are Wolverine and Deadpool that weirdly work so well together and I think seeing the magic of Hugh and Ryan on, on screen is just unlike anything I've ever seen in my life so it's just it's amazing. It's, I mean this is really special like these premieres are very special I feel like because the fans are so passionate about Deadpool and so it's, it's really fun. It's always a little bit nerve-wracking because I'm like, oh no, maybe I did something silly, but um, you know, it's fun. It's definitely a unique experience. I'm a first-time audience member as well. You know, I, I haven't, this is my first time seeing the movie and uh, very curious to see what wonders it holds. You know, to make a movie with my friends and that that movie is actually about friendship, that's an incredible, confluence of themes and realities and I think all the warmth and fun we share off screen ended up on screen as well. I feel like our press tour and the fun that we've had with the three of us globally is its own like it should be a social media channel of its own. Uh, we have had some fun riding bikes in Berlin, playing soccer or football in Brazil. Uh, I'm having the time of my life. You know, we talk a lot about uh, about lifelong dreams and things. And this the, the, bringing these characters and these X-Men characters and Deadpool and Wolverine and all of the mutants into the MCU has been a dream of mine for 25 years since I worked on the first X-Men film. And until tonight, it was not possible. And thankfully, here we are. It's actually happening. And uh, Hugh Jackman, who I started with 25 years ago, is finally in the MCU and playing what I think is the, his greatest performance as this character. I hope people felt on the press tour and I hope even more that they see it in the movie that Hugh and Ryan and Sean Levy are three amazing friends before this movie, during this movie, and now that the movie is finished after this movie. It is really amazing. And that friendship and that camaraderie and that love, I think people will see on screen. I'm so excited. I've been waiting and waiting for us to do another one, and here we are, and I'm just over the moon. Well, you know, you want to hear what the reaction of the audience is going to be, you know? So we, you sit there and go, I hope they love it, and, and they, they usually do, so I, 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 I can't wait. Well, the, the whole thing is, I was a little nervous coming into this universe because we're so R-rated. But we were welcomed with open arms, and I mean, it couldn't have been better. So I'm all excited about being a part of MCU now. We had such fun. I mean, you didn't even feel like you were making a movie. 
And then that's what's so wonderful about it. And, uh, I'm, you know, I'm still like going, oh my God, Ryan Riddles, oh my God, Hugh Jackman, oh my God, Sean Levy. So I, I was like amazed, but we had a great time. There's a lot of emotion because I think a lot of people, if you know Ryan, you know he has a lot of emotion and he masks it with a lot of humor. He has a big, warm, sweetheart, which is why we love him. And it makes total sense that the movies always have a little bit of that heart um, because it's very much his DNA. There's not much like it. I mean, it's not just the return of Deadpool, but it's the final unity of Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, everyone's been looking forward to this for forever, even I as a kid. So, you know, uh, yeah, everyone's really excited. Everybody's dressed up and um, everybody's chomping at the bids to see the movie. I am too. I think people are going to be quite surprised, actually, about uh, how much heart the movie has. Um, obviously, you know, you get the comedy and the humor that Deadpool brings. Um, the dichotomy and the, the, the contrast between Hugh Jackman's character and Ryan Reynolds, you know, you could put him in a room anywhere and it's going to be hilarious, but the film actually has a lot of stakes and a lot of weight to it and a lot of heart to it. And I think people are going to be surprised. I love movies. I'm a movie lover. I'm a movie buff and to watch it in a cinema is the greatest thing in the world, but to watch it in a cinema with all these fans is just, it doesn't get better than that. So I'm super excited. You know, it's Ryan's baby. He he created this whole thing and it's so it's really wonderful to be here it's quite feels quite significant the fact that my character a guy named peter uh was just made up kind of on the spot for deadpool 2 and that people liked him enough for them to want him to come back is just so gratifying i really kind of can't believe it the strength of the relationship between both Deadpool and Wolverine and then Ryan and Hugh is really special. So the movie definitely feels very uh, anchored by that relationship in a way that is really strong and it really can, you know, you can, then you can hang all the jokes and the craziness on it, but it's a really great story. Overall, our, our goal is always to make each other laugh, uh, to make each other laugh, to make Ryan Reynolds laugh. and. We, we figure if, if, if our sense of humor is good enough that we, uh, that we can recognize funny in each other, hopefully that, that translates for an audience. Oh, it's the best. It's the only way to see this movie is the communal experience, being in a packed theater, laughing with strangers. And, and uh, yeah, it's special, the th theatrical experience. I laughed harder and smiled more than maybe any project that I've done in my life. It, uh, working with Sean and Ryan is just a blast. It felt like we were kids. Just a bunch of nine-year-olds playing in a backyard, but kind of with one of the most adored franchises. So, I mean, it just was fun. We just had so much fun. It's very satisfying so much emotion and Deadpool has a lot of heart and really cares and so there is sincere emotional music in this film more than I think I initially anticipated. This is absolute pandemonium. It's like Comic-Con on steroids in the middle of New York City so it's amazing to see the love that people have for these two characters um, that have been built up over two decades now. I mean Ryan's been trying to convince you to do a team up between the two of them probably since before Ryan was even in a Wolverine or Deadpool movie. So it's amazing. They're buddies. They've become best friends over the last 15, 20 years or so. And you really feel and see that chemistry on screen between the two of them. Well, Marvel's, you know, brought something completely different than we've ever had in the Deadpool uh, Wolverine universe, which is the opportunity to involve, involve all of these characters from the MCU, you know, and just the the amount of attention to detail and the expertise that Marvel has because they made so many movies um, at that studio. You really feel that in every aspect of the film. It's so exciting to be a part of this whole MCU, you know? And when Sean called me and said, hey, do you want to reprise Sabretooth? I was like, heck yeah. I think the friendship between Sean, Ryan, and Hugh was really like the secret sauce of the movie. It's not just that we had these two iconic characters and these two movie stars and these actors at the top of their game, but that friendship really created an environment of trust and respect and camaraderie that really let everyone kind of come to work every day and, and give it their all, try any crazy idea, but they really just inspired us from the top and created the best work environment. 
it's amazing to watch it with the fans. It's just so totally electrifying. You know, I myself am a huge fan of both of these uh, characters and I keep saying like LFG is the perfect slogan for this movie. There could be nothing better. And Ryan will be the first one to tell you that the comedy does not work unless you have the emotional grounding and a uh, point for the audience to connect to. So I think that's really important in any Deadpool movie and certainly having a filmmaker like Sean Levy who can just do that emotionality with his eyes closed, it really just elevates the movie to a whole nother level.